guys, it's Monica, and I am going to do a, I don't know why I always say that, because they're never really super short, are they? But I'm going to try to do a short video talking about a few products that have really failed me. But before I go there, I'm going to show you my earrings. Aren't they pretty? These are the earrings that I talked about when we went to Texas, well, right before Jay and I went to Texas. I talked about how I'd gone to the outlets, and I, I had just spotted these earrings and I thought they were so pretty but he didn't want to spend the money and I thought they were a little bit too blingy so I didn't buy them but you know sometimes things just stick in your mind and they stuck in my mind though we went in that March and here it is what almost May or by the time this gets published it probably will be May because May's next week and I finally have them so what do you think I mean they'd be you know Obviously for a special type of occasion. I think they'd be fine, but I do like them a lot. So I ended up buying them and I figured I'd show them to you. So I have been kind of dreading this update in a way because I spent a lot of money for this one particular product and I watched a lot of other YouTubers talk about this product and most people seem to really like this product and I know some of my subscriber friends have also talked about this product and really like this product but for me it was a big epic fail and when I say it was an epic fail I've given this enough time to have seen a difference so I'm gonna look up the date I actually started using this but it it's been probably, when did I start using this? Hmm. Oh man, sign of old age when you can't remember things like that. But anyways, um, yeah, I think it's been close to five months. At least a good solid four. I will look up the date I bought this and I will link it below. But I started to use, this is a Desium product and I really, it's one of the Desium companies called Eshio, E-S-H-O, and I've talked about this before. It's a lip sculpting serum. I really, now a couple of things about this. This was very, very pricey, and I really liked how it felt on my lips. I liked the ingredients, but I never, ever saw any kind of a difference in the plumping factor long term. Yes, it would give me an immediate plumping when I put it on. You know what, so did my hard candy lip glosses and a couple of other lip glosses that I've used. They give me that temporary plumping and, and that's really cool because it'll last a little bit and then you can reapply and you'll feel that little plumping again. But it never gave me any kind of a long term and this is supposed to be an accumulative Accumulative, oh my gosh, accumulative, no, acclumative. I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> Anyways, that's the type of effect it's supposed to have. The more you use it, the more it works. Well, I gave it my best shot. I've used it for months and months and months, and other than that temporary feeling that you get, I saw no lasting long-term buildup or anything of that nature with this product and it was pricey so I hated I hated to really say it because I had such high hopes for this and I didn't I didn't want this to be a fail for me but it was a fail and I spent good money for a product that didn't live up to its expectations so that was a big big fail the other thing that was a fail for me and I kind of like again you know it's like with the lips Everyone has different skin. You know, Retin-A works for me, it may not work for you. I use eyelash serums, they may not work for you. So I know everyone has different skin, so I almost hate saying this, but I ended up getting the Super Goop Sunblock. Um, and this is the one that is the serum with the Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I thought it would be really, it would be a really good sunblock. Well, I put it on, it has a nice little tint. I don't know if you can see that. It has a nice little tint. You can't see it. Oh, there's little lumpy things in it. Anyways, I 
put it on in my skin with it, it's probably just my skin but this my skin turned orange and it really to me looked gross it was like a a really gross color orangey look to me I didn't like it I had to wash it off I tried it again I tried it with you know with nothing on no moisturizer nothing it was a, it was just a huge fail for me and this is not an inexpensive product so I hated to waste the money I said I'll keep trying it just like I kept trying this and um, and see how I would like it it, it never worked it, the other thing that I absolutely do not like and I've tried several of the Dr. Brandt exfoliation um, microabrasion all sorts of different of the Dr. Brandt's now these are pricey but I got them in my BoxyCharm but I still pay for my BoxyCharm each month so it's still money that I pay and every Dr. Brandt exfoliation that I've got I have not liked it just has not worked for me there is other products I like a lot better than the Dr. Brandt so that was a huge huge fail and the other thing and I gave my open jar away as many of you know when I buy something if I really like something I usually buy a backup and then I really had high hopes that I was going to like this so when I saw it I bought two of them and I gave the open jar away because it just didn't work for me. But I am a huge bee venom person. And my beloved bee venom that I buy all the time is the one that I just over and over and over again use. And I just hadn't seen that on the shelf. So when I saw this one on the shelves, I said, oh, I'm going to give this a try. This is by Skin Therapy Bee Venom Rejuvenating Night Cream. I bought it at TJ Maxx. And even for TJ Maxx, it was it was not cheap cheap. It was six ninety nine. So TJ Maxx price six ninety nine. I have no idea what the the regular. I can't read. Oh, twelve dollars. The regular price would be in a store. Anyways, I bought two of them, thinking, yeah, you know, I can't find my Lanacomb, um, my my B Venom. So I didn't want to be without B Venom, and I didn't want to be paying the B Mig B Nigma prices or the prices of the really expensive one or the jacked up prices that you can get my beloved B Venom for. So I bought that, and I thought, yeah, it would it would work. It was an epic fail. I put it on my skin. I never felt a thing at all. I found it to be kind of almost on the watery side, not watery, but very, very thin application. And I never felt a sting. I never felt any kind of any anything good. So I gave the open jar away. This is a closed jar. And um, hey, if anyone wants it, let me know and I'll send it to you. It just w did not work for me at all, as did this did not work for me. Again, I'll probably trash this um, unless somebody wants to use product they can certainly have it so I mean I hated it hated to really come with the negatives but I had just done the video of all the things that I had finished and that I had decided that I was going to repurchase and had repurchased so I figured yeah and I talked in that video about some stuff that I didn't like so much and this I know I've been past due on the on the sculpting gel a sculpt sculpting serum for your lips um and I know a lot of people have asked me about that, but it just has just been, just has not been good for me. So anyways, um, do any of you ever dance around the house when you hear music? <laughs> Today, Saturday, Jay went to a card show down in Massachusetts. We were actually supposed to go camping yesterday, but it started to rain and uh, the weather predictions were not that great. So we decided we were not going to spend the money to go beach camping because it is expensive to camp at Hampton Beach. And opening weekend, it seems to be the only time you can really get in the campground. So we decided we were not gonna do it open weekend because it first come first serve because of the rain. So we stayed home and of course right now it's sunny outside. Jay's outside. I don't know if you probably can't see him, but he's out there trying to pick up some of the trim bushes that he trimmed down. But it is supposed to rain again later and then rain tomorrow so we did not make it into opening weekend but i am like so hoping we make it into maybe bringing the next time we could bring it in would be tuesday so yeah, i was hoping i was going to be beach camping right now but i'm not so i just thought i would shoot my video get that done edit and upload sometime next week and i wanted to share my earrings with you guys i do love them i know i'm spoiled
<laughs> oh well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please ring that little ding a ling -y bell so you get notified when I upload. I tend to upload twice a week. I try to do a little bit of a vlog and then a regular type video. Sometimes I just don't vlog as much. It all depends what's going on in my life. But I try to share a lot with you guys and I truly, truly appreciate all your support. Thank you all so much and have a most wonderful day. And hey, you hear the music? Go dance around your house barefoot. I think that's so much fun. Do you also go out and rain? Sometimes when the rain comes down on a summer day and the puddles are warm, I love walking in the rain puddles bare feet. Ah, I must be a kid at heart. <laughs>